Tensions rise when monkeys compete over a scarce food supply, only available for a couple of hours each day. And for this new mother, there's more at stake because it's not just herself she's looking after. My name is Philippe D'Andrade, and I'm a National Geographic wildlife filmmaker. It looks like one of the alpha males and then a juvenile male. My passion for animals has taken me across the world and given me a deep appreciation for this earth. For season two of Untamed, we'll be exploring one of the most biologically diverse countries in the world, Costa Rica. Out of all the different species to call Costa Rica home, white-faced capuchin monkeys are one of the most fascinating to observe. They spend a lot of time play fighting, building social bonds by grooming each other, and when there's nothing to do, they just find something to play with. Within each troop is a social hierarchy, and it's always led by an alpha male. But each individual has their rank. And for this low-ranking female, life can have its challenges, especially when it's not just herself she's looking after. But luckily for her and the rest of this troop, the mangrove forest they call home hides a rare food supply. For a couple of hours each day, the tides recede and reveal a delicacy. ocean clams. They become visible along the water's edge and are suddenly within reach. But how is a six pound primate supposed to unwedge an invertebrate known for its tight seal? The inexperienced monkeys don't quite know the secret to getting the clams open. But the adults know that it's a three step process. First, they rub the clam against the tree branch, attempting to loosen its internal pressure. Then they hit it against the tree to release the clam's grip even further. Now it's ready to be pried open. Because they're only available at low tide, the higher ranking members gorge themselves until they're satisfied. But if the young ones still can't figure out the process, then they resolve the stealing. Protein is essential for a nursing mother. Without it, she can't create the milk necessary to feed her baby. And as she looks around, she sees other members feasting. The swiftly rising tide signals that time is running out to find a nourishing meal for her and her little one. Most of the troop has moved on, and the remaining members desperately fight over what little is left. This mother must use all of her wits to secure a meal without attracting the attention of another competitive capuchin. Every day is a new life lesson on how to navigate the social hierarchy of the natural world. And if this baby is going to be one of life's winners, he has to learn from his mom.